Hey friends, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. All right, so I've got a fun new little project that I'd like to share. Uh, this is gonna be available on my Etsy shop, or in my Etsy shop. Um, as you can see, this is a binder that I have repurposed. Um, on the front here, I have fussy cut out a really pretty rose and floral um, design that I found um, as part of a paper um, pad that I have and um, put that onto this black. It's kind of a paisley background and then uh, I did uh, uh, not Mod Podge because I don't like that. It um, gets sticky. Um, this is matte medium. Uh, this is Liquitex matte medium. Um, so yeah, it's on there. It's not coming off. So, and it's got a matte, uh, finish, uh, did not do the spine or the back of it. So this is a little bit shinier, uh, than the front, uh, uh, the front cover is, but just so that you're aware of that. All right. So opening it up, uh, we've got a binder, um, and on the, each of the, uh, divider pages I've decorated and then um, in between we have drawing paper so we've got uh, I'll, I'll just walk you through this real quick so we've got a piece of black drawing paper we've got a piece of watercolor paper this is Strathmore um, cold press I believe I'll have a picture of what this watercolor paper is in case that um, is a concern for you um, this is some craft uh, art art paper, uh, another piece of the watercolor paper, another piece of the craft paper, and another piece of the black paper. So basically we've got a nice little sandwich um, in between the two pieces of black. So I'll quickly run through each of these divider pages and kind of show you what I did. So on this one, um, the background was originally this black with kind of like floral etching and on top of that I fussy cut again from that same paper pad uh, the really pretty pink and purple and red and orange yellowy flowers um, and just kind of did a nice little uh, design on there and actually if you wanted to add to this you definitely could I think um, adding some magazine pictures maybe, uh, or of people or, you know, anything. Um, I think this would be a really fun kind of art journal actually. So the next divider you kind of already saw, this is just the scrap paper, um, on top. And I just glued that directly onto the, uh, divider page. Um, the back side of that one is white. Next one is we have the background is a black with a really faint gray polka dot. And then I did some more fussy cutting and added this um, floral design to the front of that. Sorry, I'm really trying to stay in um, screen here. <laughs> this, is, this is large. <laughs> so back side of that one um, was black. Uh, again, just cut a piece of the scrapbooking paper and pasted that on top. Back side of that is white. And here we have another one where the background is kind of a gray with black floral and then I added this to the front. Um, this is a really pretty mat. I guess if you wanted to put like uh, your own pictures on here or um, if you were using this as an art journal, what a fun page you could turn this into with some paints or drawing of some kind. So yeah, I, there's a lot of potential with this um, little notebook here. So, all right, so that's the last divider. And then the back um, is yet one more sandwich of the drawing papers. So pretty quick little uh, walkthrough here for you. Um, actually, while I'm, well, I have this open, why don't we just measure? So each page, actually, let me just measure here. It'd be better. So each page is going to be seven inches wide by nine inches tall. And measuring the entire thing, let's just quickly do that. 
I, one thing I don't like about binders is those back pages can get bent really fast. Um, so I always got to take a little extra time. All right. So this will be a little bit bigger. So the cover measures eight and a quarter by nine and a half. And then the spine is, it looks like one and three quarter inch spine. So kind of a, a nice size. Um, it's bigger than your average junk journal, obviously. Probably bigger than your average sketchbook. Um, but I think, I think it'll work well. So yeah. All right. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll have a link in the description to my Etsy shop and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.